थ्री लिफो पेज नंबर थ्री पॉइंट वन टू सिक्स एक्सरसाइज नंबर एटी टू पास द वीडियो एंड रीड तरोली द क्वेश्चन thoroughly revised the question now first we are going to see one of the methods in doing the materials issue last in first out see this is one of the methods uh, widely used for perishable items and the things which are all in recent trends which carries uh, fashion uh, fashionable items that comes in uh, uh, recent trends that are all the items which can be issued to the market or to the direct consumer through by this method last in first out whatever the materials comes to the producer or to the manufacturer into the recent item that will be given out to the market so that is called last in first out so the we are going to see the problems uh which have the number of transaction uh this problem doesn't carry uh opening stock at all so just we are going to start with purchase and issues so the first transaction relates to purchase okay here we have uh, uh, given so many columns relating to date particulars receipt column receipt column contains of quantity in units rate in uh, rate per unit and the amount total value and again the second column consists of uh, issues and issue has sub columns that the same thing quantity in units rate per unit amount in rupees and the third column defines balance which includes of quantity in units rate per unit and amount in rupees the first transaction here starts from january 1 uh it uh, it is a purchase of 300 units at rate of rupees 3 and it comes the total value 900 rupees so i have given here particular column goods received note number there is a book ledger book called uh, goods received whatever the amount we whatever the materials we are purchasing that will be recorded here so the bill number will be noted down so goods received note number so we are purchasing the materials so it is to be uh, recorded in the receipt column 300 units into rupees 3 per unit uh, that gives you 900 so whatever the balance to be uh, given in the last column then again next transaction starts uh, and the next transaction is on january 4th again the same purchase 600 units at rate of 4 per unit and the total value is 2400 rupees here i am just keeping it everything separately 300 units 3 or 3 rupees per unit and 900 rupees and the second transaction the second purchase it is not being included in the previous one i am just keeping separately for the issue purpose 600 units into 4 per unit the value amount is 2400 rupees then coming to the uh, next transaction that falls on january 6th here i am just writing material requisition number here there is one more ledger will be maintained in the uh, store room called material requisition uh, note here how many how much of material is being uh, issued for the production purpose will be noted down okay as we are going to follow the last in first out method we are they i uh, mean uh, we are going to issue the material which entered the premises latest okay so 600 units uh, that is the one transaction which came last from that 600 transaction i mean so from that 600 units i am issuing 500 units that the same amount will be given here 4 rupees per unit 2000 so the whatever the balance left over will be recorded here the same transaction 300 units 3 uh, rupees per unit and 900 and since we have issued uh, 500 units the remaining balance 100 units 4 rupees and 400 
is maintained here. Then coming to 10th. Goods received note number. It is nothing but it is that we are making purchase. 700 units. Uh, rupees 4 per unit. And the total value is 2800. Again you maintain the uh, records. The balance records to be separately. That is uh, 300 units. The first transaction. 300 units. Rupees 3 per unit 900 and the balance left over with the second transaction 300 units 4 rupees and 400 rupees in total value and the now as on the transaction made on 10th that is included here 700 rupees 4 per unit and the total value is 2800. It is not being mingled with one another. I am just keeping it separately again 15th. 15th again there is an issue. Uh, issues uh, that, that have to record it in there in the particulars material requisition number. Issue is uh, given here up to 800 units to be issued. Okay. So as uh, with the method of lost in first out to be followed and just taking the la latest transaction 700 units into 4 rupees 2800 and then the immediate, uh, uh, the immediate, uh, the last transaction that is 100 units, 4, uh, 4 rupees per unit and 400. So, I have issued 800 units in total. So, whatever the balance left over is 300 units, 3 rupees and 900 rupees in total value. Again, 20th, 20th, again I am purchasing the amount of 300 units, 5 rupees per unit, 1500. Just uh, uh, recorded the previous transaction 300, 3 units, uh, 3 rupees per unit, 900 rupees and record the uh, latest one, 300 units, 5 rupees unit and 1500 rupees in total value. Then 23rd, the last transaction in that month, material requisition number, that means we are issuing the materials. So 100 units to be issued, what I am going to take? I am going to take 100 units from the latest, the last transaction. 300 from 300 units, I am just issuing 100 units. 100 units into 5, 500 rupees. I am recording the first transaction as a balance. And from the last transaction, I have issued 100 units. So the remaining balance, I am having 200 units at rate of 5 rupees, 1000 rupees in total value. And therefore, the closing stock value as on January through by last in first out method consists of 500 units in total at rate of, I mean, in the total value of 1900 rupees. Thank you.